All right, I got a CBT guitar lesson um, for an old CBT student of mine, and I'm not going to say this right. It's a Bulgarian traditional folk folk song, um, Divoiko Mari Hubava, and I, I know I'm saying it wrong. Beautiful, beautiful piece, man. This, this is this is really awesome. Um, the tuning is the first thing I need to explain. From the string six down, we're dealing with a C. Uh, string five is a G. String four is a D. String three is a G. String two is an A sharp. And string one is a D sharp. All right. Got to have a tuned writer. It's not going to sound nothing like it. So um, section one comes in at three seconds. It's finger picking, so no pick involved here. Actually, that last one is a little bit doubled up. So um, let me break that down. We're dealing with, um, for the most part, harmonics in here. We're doing 12 on the A and D and B and let them ring together. So you can experiment with what fingers you want to use. I'm going thumb, thumb, middle. Three, four. Then the next one is um, harmonics again. 12 A and D. And then this one. Um, pretty interesting. You're going to go... Um, so, A, D on 12, open G and 11th fret B. We're going to stick these two fingers together and pluck those. So it's, it's played up to there. And then start it over. But, you're going to do the... A, D, and then G and B harmonics. And then A, D, open G, 11, B. That's section one. Okay, section two comes in at 16 seconds. The way I wrote this in your tabs, there's some quick rolls like arpeggios and your numbers on your tabs are written closer together so you know here's what I mean Oops. so what I'm getting at is that he's going A, D, and G but they're immediately like right after each other you don't want to go there you might want to practice a little bit just on that because it does it in a few spots. So you start with that and then um, you're going to go G, A, B, A. I'm just giving you the string names if they were in natural or standard tuning. G, A, B, A. And then 2, B, hammer to the 4th fret and then pluck. So you got... So... So after the plucked fourth fret, then you're going to go A, D, G, B. That's staying on the fourth fret there. So you have. Then A, D, G. The next part is open G, fourth fret B, and fourth fret high E. It's another quick roll through the arpeggio. And after you do that, pluck the fourth fret on the high E. Then A and D open. Then the B string fourth fret. So A D second fret B after that. So it'll be A D four, A D two. No rest. Okay, next spot three E and two B. I did put the fingering for you. Um, you can't alter it, but this is a. Uh, pretty much how he's doing the fingering and they almost just in some spots they have to be the same fingering so we're plucking those together three and two and then open D G B so 4 E and 4 B and then second fret on the B twice okay 
the 4E, open D, 5A, 5A, pull off to open. So, um, let's see, we have... And then section 3 comes in. Try to section them because there are some parts where he goes back and repeats. This comes in at 30 seconds. And it's going to be 3 on the E and 4 on the E. String 6 and string 1. It's another roll off. This one's using 4 fingers. It's a little trickier. E, G, B, E. Like that. Okay. Then go 3 E, open G, 2 E. So it's and then three E two E pull off to an open E pluck the E four B four B again with the four low E and then open D and G all right so right two on the B and then five low E two on the B. And then this is quicker in your tab, it is put faster, but it's open B, 2G, open B. Got a rest. Okay, another arpeggio roll. Um, it's open E, open D, open G, and fourth fret B. So we're using four fingers, we're gonna go. So it's. Um, so after the roll, open D, 4B, 2B, so, uh, 3E, 2B, pull up to an open B, pluck the B, 2G, so you got 5E, open B together, and then followed by an open D and G, to a 2B. Uh, quick roll, open A, D, 2nd fret, G. And those could be little subgroups too. So, pull off to open G, plug the G, open A. So I suggest finding little groups like that. They're, some of them are already kind of subgrouped with the timestamps. But uh, this is kind of hard to do that through all of it. So much going on. And then 9E, pull off to 7. And then D and A. So we have... Okay, um, 8A, watch the fingering on these. And 9B, we're going to pluck. We're going to go A, G, B. And there's a short rest after that, so we got... So, open D, 7B, alright, so it sounds like this, oops, you'll go 7B, and then you'll do it again with the 5A, go to 5B, twice, pinky come over to 4B, no, first finger 4B, so you get this going on. And then we got this. 3A, 4B, so we gotta swap out fingers, obviously. No, middle finger there. So uh, A and B string, and then open D and G. Oops. From there, you're gonna go to the second fret on the B string. Could use your middle on that. Let's see. Or your index. And then we gotta swap out to 2A, 2B, pluck. And this is faster as well. So you're gonna um, pull off to open B, 2G, open B. And there's another good subgroup for you.
And then a quick roll. Open E, D, and G into the 4th fret B. And then pluck the B string on the 4th fret. So we have... Open E, 2B. Then we're going to go to page 2. We're going to go 3E and 2B. You're going to pluck those. Pull off to an open B. And I lost my place. Hold on here. Okay, 51 seconds in. We got this. 5 low E. Open B together. So you'll... 2G, open D, open G, 2B. So it's... And then another roll, A, D, and G. It'll be second fret on the G, though. That was something we just did earlier. Pull off to open G, pluck it, open A, 9E, open A, 7E. So it's like a, an octave thing going on. And that's a good subgroup. Oops, let's try it again. Okay. Um, that's it for that section. Then we got some repeats at 56 seconds. Um, which is just the, the harmonics. Um, and he's, he's doing like knocks on the wood to keep a beat. Like he'll go... And then the last one he doesn't. All right, self-explanatory. Section four comes in at 108. It's A D G roll with a rest. We'll play a little bit of it. Now this is similar to something earlier, but I had to write it out because there was some changes. Rest G A B A two B hammer to four, and then the fourth fret along with the open G followed by an A string, so, so, open D, let's play it up to there, um, open G, and then another quick roll here, open G, 4B, 4E, and then pluck the 4E, okay, Open A, open D, 4B. Open A, open D, 2B. So. Three E, two B together. Open D, G, B. Then four E, four B. To the second fret B twice. So, let me try all that for you. And then 4E, open D, 5A twice, so. It's like this echoing with the octave repeats, okay? Um, 122, another roll off, 3E, open G, open B, 4E, okay? Oops. So, I'm gonna start from the roll. And then go 3E, open G, 2E, keep that there, add the, thro the 3 on the low E, pull off to an open high E. Pluck the high E, go to 4B. So we have... Oops, try it again. 4E, 4B. So, pluck those, open D, open G, 2B. That's a good subgroup. Okay, keep the 2B, go 5 on the low E. And that's the faster part again. You'll pull off to an open B. 2G, open B. Another roll, open E, G, B, 4th fret B. So you'll have... So there's our, we start with the roll. Open D, 4B, 2B, keep that there, go 3E with the 2B, pulling off to open B, 
block the open B. So we have. Then go 2G, open B. Or no, 2G. We'll be playing in context. And then this is the next little chord grouping. 5 on the E. And then go D, G, open, 2nd fret B. So we have. You know, you can subgroup them and just build off of them like that. Um, oops, try that again. 132, that's another roll. A, D, open, and 2 G, pulling off to an open G. And then pluck the G. Open A, 9 E, open A, 7 E. So it's. Then we got repeats. Section 3, from the star to star end, and then following that is open A, D, G, B. Section 5 comes in here. Now this part is amazing. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you I have the technique done yet because it's a little, I've done stuff like this but not exactly like this. Um, it's it kind of sounds like tapping in a sense it is. Um, That's the concept. Oops. Love it. Now here's the trick that's, that's uh, taking some getting used to. Um, you're going to hammer onto the 7th fret on the low E. So all the roots in these, as they move, are hammered out of nowhere. 7 E. We're going to hit the open D and hammer to 7 D. We're going to pluck the open B, hammer to 7B, and then hit the open high E, so you get to this sound. 